Hi guys, Danny here and welcome to a slightly different video. As you can see this isn't my normal test world and I'm not doing a review but I'm still going to be talking about Rotarycraft. Basically I had started playing Rotarycraft and even though I had made all those videos I realized I had no idea where I was supposed to start Rotarycraft from. I filled around with it for a little while and then I realized what to do. So I decided to share with you guys because it can be quite difficult to start a new mod. So I decided to go with the example of Direwolf who actually shows the mods in play and while well, he actually plays them as well. So yeah, it's just a short video to show how you can actually start with Rotarycraft. As you can see, I, I haven't really been in this world for a long time. I just have some sugarcane, some canola outside and my house is no more than a little hole in this hill. I haven't really been messing around with a lot of mods, uh, just a couple, basically Tinker's Construct and a bit of Rotarycraft. And just that much has been quite a handful as well. So yeah, let me just get started right away. Obviously at the start you should get yourself a Blast Furnace. The Blast Furnace has a very easy recipe, which if you guys don't remember is just this a couple of smooth stones make them into bricks with the redstone in the middle so yeah it's quite simple and obviously you, c you don't need to make it in a work table and then next you have to make yourself a work table those two are the most uh, you know uh, important ones again quite a simple recipe but you need steel ingots for this that's why I said make the blast furnace first and in the blast furnace you need gunpowder so you'll have to go around killing some creepers and just a tiny bit of coal and yeah the temperature has to be 625 so always remember to have a lava block underneath it and that's just the start anyways let me sleep for a second so like I was saying at the start I had no idea how to st actually start with the mod and as you can see there I decided to fill around with some power production machines yeah I have a wind turbine here with steel shafts and it's going inside my little cave hole but then I realized that will not give me enough energy and then I started thinking what would be the best way to create power I can always use the DC engine uh, but that gives way too little power to be of any use for you know proper machines and my aim always was to get the extractor with anything else I was using um, my little furnace thingy from uh, Tinker's Construct but for iron which I cannot stress enough is so important for this mod literally every single recipe requires a lot of steel meaning you're gonna have to find a lot of iron so yeah after uh, after I got myself a good pick I got some obsidian went to the nether and got myself some netherrack and built this right away but then came the real trouble the extractor requires a lot of power and then I was stumped. I could have built like you know some really high powered machinery like the last few engines um... where are they? these guys but I would require jet fuel for them and I decided I just didn't have the resources for that uh, <laughs> you know everything here requires steel and these guys all require a different amount of steel so then I started thinking again and I realized that the best option would be to use the industrial coil now I have I've said this before but the industrial coil is like my favorite machine in all of rotary craft it is just so simple and handy it's like a battery box but it's like a battery box you can carry around with you so then what I decided was to have a gasoline engine gasoline engine is quite easy to make you just need some gold and as a fuel inside all you need is um, ethanol and making ethanol is quite simple uh, just get yourself a fermenter uh, go through the processes uh, in this little chest I have some plant material I just use uh, some shears to get some leaves uh, leaves are the best options because you can get um, two ethanol crystals from every leaf like if I just put this here you can see that I get two sludge and sludge you put it in the furnace you get ethanol crystals but if you uh, if you use like um, saplings or something you only get one of these so yeah the oak leaves would be the best option 
and then it's quite simple because get, even getting the yeast is just some sugar and um, dirt and that's why I have a sugar farm outside it's one of these sugar cane I don't have much but it actually even with how many is there I don't know around six seven I can get myself like um, enough ethanol to uh, use the machine for like an hour as you can see there it's just over an hour and I feel this like 15 minutes ago so yeah um, and I decided to use a gasoline engine but then what I decided was to connect the gasoline engine to this industrial coil if I hit it with the transducer as you can see it's charging power now the best thing about the industrial coil is you can charge it up like this then I can just get a pick and pick it up and see the energy is still stored inside of it so now I can just carry it around that's not really gonna be handy later on in the game but like I said this is just my first couple of days here so I realized that would be the best option and something else with this I also got myself an engine control unit so I can just turn the machine off so I wouldn't have to waste the gasoline I mean uh, the ethanol so as you can see the levers off and I'm not using any more of this because sometimes I have to take this off and go down to my mine so I decided to get myself one of these guys just turn the machine off and I can just not waste any fuel the energy from the turbine I was originally using it to charge up my industrial coil but the energy was so small that I was just like no forget it that will not work so I cut myself one of these guys but I still wanted to use it so I decided to use it for this pump the pump pumps water to the extractor and I have a bevel gear here which you know like I said in my first video second video it changes the direction of the energy to a right angle as you can see from there so yeah and um, the industrial coil can't receive power and give out power at the same time so right now it, the gasoline engine is doing its thing charging up the industrial coil however as you can see there the numbers going up if I was to flick the switch now it would be in output mode well it's not outputting anything because it's you know zero zero right now but it's not taking in power either and for that reason I put that lever there and like I said the extractor takes a lot of energy uh, if you put it uh, if you go as the suggestion says here 512 newton meters of torque with just over 8,000 radians per second of energy I mean um, speed it it's just like 40 million watts so that's quite ridiculous and iron it's not really rare as you guys know it's a vanilla ore obviously but because you use it in everything you start you know having little to none of it in my chest here you can see that I have a good amount of every other metal except iron in fact I have no iron right now so yeah and so what I decided was to break down the power usage from here according to how much uh, radians per second and uh, newton newton meters it would be which I have it there and all I need to do is I'll just show you guys my mine. I originally just used my pick to get under here and um, this is where Tinker's Construct came in handy. I used this, uh, I think it's called something hammer, I, I don't really remember what it's called but I basically used it to carve away large portions so I could get my initial few iron ores but after a while I started running out like really quickly so I decided the best option would be to get myself the boring machine so yeah this is my second suggestion the first suggestion being get yourself loads of industrial coils my second suggestion would be to get yourself a boring machine as quickly as possible if you watched my video you probably saw that you could use a boring machine and power it with just a AC engine but the AC engine isn't really working for me right now so I decided just to use my industrial coil method and I charged this upstairs as you can see it's only using a tiny bit of power and I charge this upstairs with my gasoline engine and I just bring it down here 
and my boring machine as you can see it's fully powered it just pretty much breaks down a large chunk of this uh, underground that way and dumps everything in this chest and oh I got a nice amount of iron ore I also got some I got loads of diamonds as well there is a lot of cobble and I've been I've had to take out the cobble manually and dump them in the little lava hole I have over there but eventually I'm thinking of using ender chests bringing it upstairs but you know th but that's in the future when I actually have some um, ender eyes I don't actually right now because <laughs> the endermen are quite difficult to kill I do have some ender lilies if you guys have ever played uh, around with the extra utilities but they take a lot of time to bloom and um, they take around I think a month in game so it's quite uh, ridiculous now if I put this um, iron ore inside of the smeltery yeah there's called it smeltery not a furnace I can double it in fact most machines uh, most industrial machines double the or, uh, ores into two dust each but the extractor it up up two plates it it multiplies it by eight or has a chance to anyways so yeah and that's why I'm using the extractor on just the iron ore I couldn't really be bothered for to do this for every single one of them but if there's a chance to turn this 10 iron ore into 80 iron or uh, 80 iron ingots then you know uh, I don't really care how much effort it takes so as you can see I have the stages broken down stage 1 is 512 newton meters and 128 radians per second so I'll just type that in here 512 512 512 128 like so and let's see how much power this has yeah that should be more than enough I'll just turn this off check if this is outputting anything okay it's not it stopped and all I need to do is flick this lever now and the extractor will start doing its thing and slowly extracting the ores okay this isn't working for some reason let's see what's up why are you not working 512 newton meters Ah, okay. I put it in the wrong side. 512, what was it? 128? Something like that. Yeah, now it should be working. And it is. So yeah, I just let all this be broken down. And then after that, when everything's processed, after the 10, I switch over to the next one, and the next one, and the next one. It's not that much of a bother cause um, if I'm lucky I get more than just you know one dust per ore last time I had three dust and three ores I made 27 ingots out of them so it was quite handy 27 it was more than 20 I don't actually remember how much it was exactly but two of the process it two of the stages sorry require water supply and that's why I have the pump there for. The pump is very vital in this whole process and yeah, need to pump it in the extractor at all times. You don't need to, but I'm doing it anyways. Okay, I've been quite unlucky so far. I've only been getting one dust out of every ore. But here's to me hoping that I'll get more. And as you can see here, I'm not actually using that much uh, power if I actually break it down to steps. But like I said, if I'd gone with what was it, 512 multiplied by 8,000, like I said, it'd be around 40 million or 4 million, extremely high number, and I really can't afford making the higher up guys yet. I could probably make a performance engine. In fact, that's what I'm actually thinking of doing now. I would get what double or triple how much I'm making right now. And I actually do have quite a bit of redstone as well, so that would probably work. Oh, but this has... See, I didn't choose performance engine at the start because not only does it require extra stuff, this also has the um, overheating thing. 
and the gasoline engine is quite simple in that regard where you just need to feed it ethanol there's no risk and you know absolutely safe in fact if I wanted I could just made a couple of these gasoline engines and um, you know charge different industrial coils at the same time I mean like I showed you making the ethanol is very simple let's see just there I have the 16 sludges and I'll just throw it in here and bam I'll have 16 ethanol and that'll be around I don't know around 20 minutes of uh, how much does it output okay nothing right now but however much this outputs 65 kilowatts of power so it would be quite handy but yeah let's see how this is going see uh, it's no longer I think it was 10 at the start I don't actually remember anymore but yeah this will keep going and going next step and next step anyways I hope you guys remember how much I had this at the start um okay this is gonna be a long and boring process so I'll see you guys when I'm around there so you can see what the um, final output is going to be just a side note on how I change the values again um, all the dusts have been made it's 13 again I don't remember what the initial number was but what I do next is I just flick this off and this shouldn't be giving out any more power and it's not so now I just go to stage 2 which is 10 2048 radians per second so I just put in 2048 and I think the Newton meters was 8 and just flick the switch again and this should be going on with the next step and it is and the best thing about this is I think stage 2 was the stage that takes the least amount of power as you can see from there the power is being drained at a very low rate and MJ just means uh, millions of joules, mega joules, so you know that is quite a lot of power that I've stored and with 50 minutes left in the gasoline engine I could probably charge this up quite high ag again but if I go here you could see I've already made 5 and now this will keep going and you know I'll have quite a bit of uh, ingots at the end what I've realized is th I can't put the flakes that I get from that machine inside of the oh, I forgot what this is called again in inside of the smeltery which is just as well I guess uh, otherwise it'd be cheating if I get double the um, insane amount of um, flakes I'll get for manure anyways but yeah uh, you have to use a vanilla furnace or you know if you wanted you could use like a mod furnace as well but like I said, I haven't used any mods except um, Tinker's Construct and Rotary Craft. But yeah, I'll see you guys when this is fully done next. So as you can see, just before the last stage, before it has a chance to be doubled again, I have 30. And I looked over my video and I, uh, I saw that I had 10 ores. So yeah let me just flick this on right now and by the end of this 30 I should have I don't know I probably will have a lot more so yeah see you guys then I keep coming back to this but while this is being done I want to show you guys exactly how much steel is required for some of these things so I'm thinking of making another industrial coil and for that I'll need space panels and some of those guys right now I only have this 28 steel I don't even know if it's gonna be enough or not but here's me hoping that it will you only have to make the end product inside of the work table but all the different parts you can just make in a normal uh, this is just a crafting station from uh, Tinker's Construct it's basically just a normal crafting table okay I don't have a normal crafting table but it's basically just a normal crafting table that you can just leave things inside of and then you can come back to it it'll still be there but besides that it's pretty much the same as a crafting table so yeah let's see I have the base panels I have a mount shaft unit choir so what's that tension coils
Come on, what's there? Oh, God. Ugh. I don't even have a scrap melter thingy. God damn it, I shouldn't have shift clicked. But, yeah. Yeah, as you probably saw, but just that much, it requires a lot of steel. I could have probably gotten this back if I had some sort of scrap melter thing. God, that was annoying. Anyways, yeah, I'll see you guys when this is done, so. Here we go. Nearly finished. And with the last one, come on, double. Oh, the suspense. Oh, I only got one. Well, regardless, as you guys can see here, I got 43 flakes, which is 43 ingots out of 10 ores. Now, usually if I'd put it inside the... this thingy, I forget what it's called again, smeltery, or, you know, I macerated it, or, or if I'd pulverized it, or any of the other things you can do with mods, I would have only gotten... what was it? twice that amount so I've gotten 20 ingots this took a bit of a it took a, l a little bit of work but I managed to get where is it 43 ingots so that's more than double and I also managed to get some aluminum or aluminium or however you can pronounce it okay I'll just turn this on and this should be charging now yeah I, I used up nearly all of the power what was it 60 something mega, uh, mega joules mega joules yeah I used all of it up but you know it was really worth it in the end I don't have to actually do anything when it's being recharged as you can see here this is outputting power and there you go it just recharges on its own in fact with the gasoline engine it actually recharges quite fast there it's two mega joules there mega joules that doesn't sound right for some reason and it's already two and a half basically it's around one megajoule around ten seconds or so so and inside of this there is more than an hour worth of fuel so you know it can last quite a bit of time this process the extractor from start to finish took around fifteen minutes which isn't that bad of course, if you weren't bothered, you could have just stuck it inside one of these guys, just gotten 20 ingots and just gone from there. But, you know, I'm, I actually don't have enough ingots, especially because I just wasted so much steel over there. So I can't really be... I'd rather spend some time getting more ingots than being in a hurry. I also got this aluminum powder which is good although I don't need it I have quite a bit of that so yeah that's that's pretty much what you should do at the start um, focus on the industrial coil you don't have to use it you can use the gearboxes if you wanted to personally I don't like it because some of the machines like um, the boring machine down there it requires quite you know specific amount of power um i i tried to put in uh, i tried to put in uh quite a bit of power using the gasoline engine directly inside of it it started sparking and that's never a good sign so i was like no 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 and i couldn't have really used the gearboxes cause that machine had quite a specific um speed and uh, torque requirement and even if i used gearboxes i probably wouldn't have you been able to you know get there unless I'd used like a CVT or something but uh, uh, I, I find this way much easier and it's much more accurate as well also I really love industrial coils see already 10 megajoules in there megajoules I have to check that up I'm pretty sure it's megajoules and yeah this has no power inside of it it's just charging this will keep pump okay it's not pumping anymore it stops pumping well and there is a good amount of water, 24 meter cubes of water and you know a nice bit of pressure as well so now that's done all I need to do is get the ingots and go to my last furnace 
and just oh wait let me just fill this in first you want to use you want to fill this whole thing up to get maximum chances of bonusing it's 15 out of 9 wow that's the highest I've gotten so far that's pretty insane 24 out of 18 not that bad I used up my gunpowder though so I'll have to go out killing some creepers uh, anyways that's all I wanted to show you guys just a tiny bit of help at the start to you know uh, show what the best thing would be to do at the start if that made any sense um yeah so please like or subscribe if you like the video and thanks for watching